In this video I want to show you how to make a cylinder without a bottom. Then we'll turn that into a, um, a form, we'll shape it, and we'll be able to take it off the wheel and distort its form to make an asymmetrical pot. Um, once we've distorted the form then we'll take a slab of clay and put our bottomless piece on to the slab and slip and score it together and we'll have a vessel with a bottom in it. Um, the first step is to throw a form that doesn't have a bottom and let that set up a little bit. I have about two and a half pounds of clay here and I'm going to center it and um, open it up just like a normal cylinder except while I'm opening I'm going to go all the way to the wheel head here. Now I've opened all the way to the bottom, all the way to the wheel. Now I'm going to pull this out, the distance that I want the bottom to be, keeping in mind that I'm going to distort the shape. So I'm going to use my uh, right angle wooden rib to give me a nice sharp edge in there because once I um, take this off of the bat when it's finished I'm going to need to clean up the very bottom of it a little bit and the more I can get that um, clay thickness down at the bottom the less I'll have to clean up. Let's get a nice crisp edge in there to work with. Now I'll pull up the walls. Now I'm going to give this a shape and I may have to experiment around with different shapes as I'm um, trying out this new process of uh, throwing a form without a bottom and taking it off the wheel and changing its shape by taking it out of the round. Um, the shape will change pretty dramatically when you do that and so you may need to experiment with some different forms and just see what happens when you uh, when you square them off or flatten them out. Or... So I'm going to um, go ahead and, and do some shaping to this cylinder. We'll use this small wooden tool. Once I have a shape that I'm satisfied with, I'm going to use my wooden knife to trim off the excess clay at the very bottom. I left that clay there to help support the form as I was uh, shaping it. And so taking that off at the very end, 
leaves the clay there to help support the form until you're done. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'm going to distort its form and once I've distorted the form I have a clay slab that I made already that's drying that I will use to create a bottom for this bottomless pot. Okay, so I have my bottomless vessel and I have my slab of clay. They're about the same moisture content. I'd say they're at soft leather hard. I'll be able to squish the sh and change the shape of this piece without it cracking, um, but it should be able to hold itself up because it's dried just enough. So what I wanna do is I wanna cut it off the bat I'm going to look at the bottom here and see if there's some um, pieces of clay shape that I want to change. Maybe this sharp edge I want to remove or pinch away. So that'll become the inside or interior of my vessel. And I may not be able to reach down in there to clean that up very well. Okay, <clears throat> so at this point, because there isn't a bottom on this, I can totally change its shape. I can make it oval. I could potentially make it square. I'm going to try to make an oval pot. So you can see this shape has changed pretty dramatically and it's not symmetrical any longer. I could distort the bottom like this. Then I could change the shape of the lip the other direction. come in and use a paddle to create some flat spaces. Which might create a nice spot for an image. I think that looks interesting. Now, once you have your vessel shaped the way you want it, I'm going to make sure the bottom has the shape that I want. Then I'll come over to my slab and I'll set the piece down on the slab. And what I want to do is I just want to lightly trace around the very bottom of the piece. Use a wooden tool, just lightly tracing. And I'll put a little mark just a little line right there and a little line right here that I can clean up. That'll be my registration mark. 
So when I take this off and I'm slipping and scoring the bottom of this and this, when I go to put them back um, together, I'll know how to line up the piece. So we'll lightly lift this off, set this off to the side. Now I can see the bottom of this has a certain thickness. So what I'll do is I will slip and score a ring on the inside of the line that I drew here. And I'll slip and score this edge as well. Now that both surfaces are slipped and scored really well, I'm ready to um, make the attachment here. Line up my registration marks here. And I just want to apply downward pressure and a little bit of a wiggle. Really make sure there's a good connection. And I like to use a wooden tool of some sort and get inside there and compress that seam from the interior. Support on the exterior. trying to smooth out the inside and compress the seam at the same time. Once you feel that you've really um, sealed the piece, the pot to the slab, now you're going to cut it out and you can use a wooden knife. The beveled edge on this will, as you cut this out, will actually push the clay up against the pot and help compress and seal that. Um, I have the smaller wooden knife that it won't move as much clay around, but it'll be a little bit more of a delicate line. So I think I'm going to use that. I'm going to cut just slightly away, not right up against that, but just away a little bit so there's some clay that will be pushed up against. And I like to hold the knife at an angle to get a beveled edge there. And this of course is something that you can clean up. Now that I've removed the rest of that slab, I have a pot with a bottom on it. Now I just need to clean up this bottom a little bit, and then I'll be ready to uh, move on to the next steps.
I just created a little bevel line at the bottom to mimic this line to carry that design element through the top and the bottom. Just soften up that sharp edge. 